Hey guys, welcome to Sun Vibes, where you get to discover your true authentic self. I'm your host, Ayasha Robinson, and on today's episode, I'm going to be talking about Chinese New Year. Yes, it is time Chinese New Year this coming weekend, as we're going to officially celebrate it. I love Chinese New Year. It's very positive, it's very prosperous, and it always talks about good fortune as well. So on today's episode, I'm talking about some plants that will bring you good fortune and prosperity during this Chinese New Year. As you guys know or don't know, we are celebrating the year of the rabbit. So those who are rabbits, shout out to you. Peace and blessings and good fortune to all the rabbits out there. And then we're also going to be doing some upcoming episodes each and every week during the Chinese New Year, where I'll be talking about different things that you can keep around you to help bring that prosperity and abundance into your home, into your workplace, and also into your life as well. So the first thing I'll be talking about is this money tree. Yes, it is a money tree. And in feng shui and then also in Chinese New Year, this brings prosperity, good fortune, money, wealth, success, and all the things that we love and we want to have more of within us our life. So this Chinese New Year, please give yourself a money tree. And if you're into feng shui or practice feng shui like I do, you have to make sure you put the southeast direction of your household. So if you have a compass or the little Baja map, you can use the Baja map to kind of figure out your wealth corner and your wealth corner is considered the element of wood. So that would be able to tell you where your wealth corner is inside your house. Southeast corners in most places in people's households, depending on your household, is using the living room. But also, it can be your bedroom as well. So if the southeast corner of your house isn't your living room and you find out it's your bedroom, you can put your money tree in the southeast corner of your space. Also, we're going to be talking about moms. I love these moms. So these are the lunar moms, and these are actually symbolized good fortune, prosperity, and wealth. During the Chinese New Year, I actually picked these moms up from Trader Joe's. They're beautiful. Now, as far as feng shui is concerned, you don't really have to put this in the southeast corner. But if you have a nice windowsill, you can put these moms in your windowsill, and it can help bring in all the prosperity and joy and happiness that you want to receive during this Chinese New Year. So there you have it. I talked about two plants that you can use during this Chinese New Year to help bring you good fortune, wealth, and prosperity throughout this new year. So for more information about these plants or about feng shui, you can always email me, ayasha at urbansociallifenj.com. And again, thank you for watching Sun Vibes, where you get to discover your true authentic self. I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. Take care and see you soon. Bye.